Should Deontay DeBron's mama Wilder fight on the same card as Anthony Joshua? Basically, he would be the co-main event to Anthony Joshua's debut at the Brooklyn Barclays Center in August. And it's something that Eddie Hearn, a plan that he he laid out, but your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boston Clinic of Moore. And, um, you know, crazy as it sounds, I think he should, you know. You know, since he's not going to be able to get in the ring with Joshua because he caught the feds. <laughs> I mean, that's the best thing is to um, fight on his undercard and then get in the ring after you beat who you beat. Presumably, we talked about Dominic Brazil or Dylan White or being the next fight. And if, you know, Anthony Joshua doesn't choose to fight Anthony Josh, I mean, fight Jarrell Miller and America Dan Miller jumping to number one. But I think it should be Brazil and Wilder, given their history, the lawsuit and all that stuff. And then Joshua fights Miller on the main event in the Barclays Center. And I know people will say, well, this is a disrespect to the heavyweight champion of the world and Deontay Wilder. Fight on the undercards with Englishmen in America. Yeah, true. It is. But somehow you got to create demand. I keep saying create demand, create demand, create demand. And if you're able, if you're able to get him to America and like it and pull, and, and pull tickets here, that's a plus. You might have to take a back seat to him. But if you're able to get him in your world and you can do it in Vegas or the Barclays Center and he likes it over here. I mean, that's a that's an ace in the hole for you to get this fight in your backyard. Being a motherfucker who only bringing one belt. To the table. But I understand how people say it's a slap in the face. But guess what? People going to slap Deontay Wilder in the face regardless. You know, no matter if he got two, three, four belts in his belt account. It don't matter. People still just going to disrespect him. I told you guys, he ain't going to get disrespect until he long gone out the game. Retired or even dead. So, yeah. I'm, I'm saying he should do it. You know, because then, you know, you control the feds. In, your, in, your, in Brooklyn, right in America, you control the police. You can jump in the ring after he destroys fat baby cheese Miller, Miller uh, baby Miller, and you can call him out right then and there in your own country and put him on blast and show him how big of a bitch that he really is, you know. And he is a bitch, you know. I keep saying that. Joshua got bitch ways. He probably wear a thong in the bed at night, but you know sometimes you got to sacrifice and swallow your pride and do what you got to do to make shit happen. And you got to swallow your pride, Wilder. Do this, fight on his undercard in your in your in your country. And then call him out you know, after you beat Brazil, or if you beat Brazil after he beats Miller for show for show, and um, call him out, man, and make him create the man. You know, you and him fighting on the same car, and you able to pull those numbers with Ortiz, you, you guys are probably gonna fill up the Barclays centers. Like you probably gonna have standing room only seats as well. So it makes sense. And sometimes you gotta put your pride aside to make. Sometimes you gotta take a step back to take a couple steps forward. And I think that's what Deontay Wilder gonna have to do here. And um. I know it's going to be hard working under Eddie, but Eddie and Alex worked together before. And, um, you know, like I said, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I know my mom always said that sometimes. You know, you, I ain't want to do the shit. And it seems, you know, whatever, how, how difficult the challenge was or how how nasty or grimy or how, how the challenge was. You got to do what you got to do to make shit happen. And Wilder got to do what he got to do to make this happen, you know, with Joshua, in my opinion. And, um, and I know he don't probably want to do it, but guess what? You know, it's a business you want to fight. Sometimes you got to, you know, you got to grit your teeth and bite down and go do what you got to do. So I think he should. I think he should fight on Joshua's undercard versus Brazil or maybe v versus Dylan White. I think Dylan White in this scenario might be a little bit better because he's a UK guy. He's an Englishman. And a lot of English people going to be watching. He can make an example out of him, which he took, you know, what well, he took Joshua about nine or ten rounds and he could decapitate him in half the time or under that. I think people going to start thinking. And when you see both of these on the same card, then you're like, yeah, you know, I, I fuck with that. You know, I want to see these two guys fight, you know, they, you know, and it's going to create demand. So it's a it's a step back or two steps back for, for 10 steps forward. So that's how Wilder got to look at it. He got to be innovative. If he really wants this fight, he got to do that. You know, he wants to jump in the ring versus Joshua. Like I said, you know, stop looking thirsty. You know, ain't no point in jumping in the ring versus this guy. He already told you, you ain't going to be in the ring no way. You know, he, got, he caught the feds on you, so. There's no point in you going over there and look like you begging, you begging, you begging. And maybe you really is begging for the payday. I ain't mad. Who who ain't going to be begging for 12, 15, 20 million dollars? But you can't let them, let them see you sweat and let, you see you, let them know you're really thirsty for the fight. But that's cat, cat already out the bag for that. So I think he should fight on a double feature card with, with Joshua. We gone.